Hello. If you already have experience in obbies, perhaps this video is not for you, but you can wait for the next one. Without further ado, let's start. 1. Choose your own style. You see, the game has 4 coils and you are actually not forced to use them. When you play Acid Escape, you are not subject to some timer or the need to be first to obtain some reward. If you have already beaten the maps then you are just playing for fun. That is why it is very important that you choose the way you want to play. By this I mean if you would choose to play trying to go as fast as possible, or for example trying to make as many shortcuts as possible. You could even play calmly and without pressure. 2. Optimize the camera. It is a bit similar to the previous section, but in this case I mean that you choose the position of the camera correctly. No matter what device you play on, keeping the camera away from your avatar will allow you to better observe your surroundings. This will make it easier for you to see the next obstacles or platforms instead playing in first person. Another very important thing is that you choose whether you will put the camera facing forward or looking up. This section is totally up to you, both have advantages and disadvantages, for example if you put the camera looking up you will be able to make more precise jumps. But if there is a platform above your head you will likely see a sudden change in perspective, in these cases it is better to use the camera facing forward. You can also exchange both depending on where you are. 3. Give Shift Lock a try. If you don't know what it is, it's a Roblox option to keep the character fixed with the camera. This mainly serves to prevent your character from moving in a direction you don't want or to walk sideways. If you are playing on a phone you just have to press a button, but on a computer this has to be activated from the options. To use it you just have to press the shift key. This will be useful for controlling some specific jumps, but it is also a much cleaner way to play, you could avoid some unnecessary falls when using it. Obviously if this is not to your liking you cannot use it. Another thing I haven't mentioned, if someone plays from an Xbox they won't be able to use it. 4. Understand the blue coil. Anyone who has spent one minute in acid escape knows that the blue coil gives you a slightly higher jump and a slightly slower fall. But people do not know how to use this coil and end up holding it in their hand all the time to prevent falling with each jump. If you are starting to play I don't recommend using it all the time, only when you think the jump seems too difficult for you. If you depend on the blue coil you will never be able to learn to make more precise jumps. There are also some maps where using it a lot can be a disadvantage, for each slow fall you will have 1 or 2 seconds less before the acid arrives. You can corroborate this in maps such as the desert or complexity. It is important that you remember that absolutely every jump on every map is possible to do without coil. At no time will you be forced to use them. 5. Don't touch red buttons. Seriously, even in the lobby they tell you not to do it. If you see a red button it always means that someone has already pressed it or that it is a potential trap that you will not escape. Although you are free to do so if you want to laugh a little. 6. Use a simple avatar. Avoid using accessories that cover your avatar's legs. The more minimalist the better to see where to jump next. 7. Get the dark coil. On the screen you will be seeing how it is achieved. This coil is difficult to use the first time you have it because although it makes you much faster, it has the effect of making you fall much faster. But the only reason I recommend having it is because of the speed effect. Since you are just starting out in the game, avoid at all costs using this coil to make jumps and only use it in areas where everything is flat or there are no obstacles. A good example of this would be the emulator map. If you ignore this you will most likely fall or end up in small pieces of Robloxian. You can also hold it to climb any type of stairs much faster, including those at the beginning of the maps. 8. Learn your first trick. Here I will teach you the first trick you can do in the game. This trick can be done with all coils except the dark coil. If you are climbing a ladder made of the truss block and only this block, you can do the following. Before I say it, you can do it without shift lock, but it's a little harder that way. Position your character facing directly toward the stairs, hold the coil that makes you jump higher, and hold space or jump button while facing the stairs. By doing this your character will climb the stairs much faster, even faster than using the dark coil. 9. Get the candy cane. If you are playing in December, you can look for a tutorial on how to get the candy cane. This is so that you don't have to wait 11 months in vain. In case you don't know what it does, it's like the blue dock, but its jump is even higher. 10. Learn from your mistakes. If you are just starting out in the game, I recommend that every time you play a new map, you try to do it without coils. This is so that you memorize the path you should take, because if you try to take shortcuts with coils at the start, you will probably get confused later and not know where to go. 
It is important that you memorize each obstacle and each part of the map, because the more you memorize the faster you will do it the next time you play the map. It doesn't matter if you die by accident or fall into a trap, the important thing is that you learn from that mistake and avoid it the next time. Little by little you will learn and you will not need to stop to see where you should continue, therefore the acid will have fewer opportunities to reach you. Well that's all, I hope some of the tips have been useful to you. If you already have a lot of time in acid escape or if you already knew all these tips, wait for the next video where I will explain some for advanced people.